In this video, I would like to show you how we can find a lot of information of any email address plus the owner name or who is the owner of this email address. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Sat from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because not a lot of people watch the video and subscribe to the channel. Like more than 90% of you just watch the video and don't subscribe. And I promise you that there will be a lot of valuable videos. Just by looking at the previous videos, you can know the quality of the information and knowledge that uh, I put on this channel. And if you are interested in OSINT, I have an OSINT masterclass on how can you find anybody's personal email address and personal phone number and how you can use leak databases to leverage your OSINT investigation. If you are interested, you can subscribe to the newsletter. You'll get 25% discount plus the CyberSudo also toolkit plus two mini ethical hacking courses on how can you hack your own wireless access point ethically and how can you unlock vulnerable cars using radio replay attack. So all of this is going to be in the link in the description and let's get started. So in this video, we will be relying on many websites unlike the last videos in which we did everything manually and this will give us a lot of information we will assume that you've got an email from somebody and you would like to know who is the owner of this email address now obviously like if someone wants to hide their identity they are not going to create an account under their name and they will try for example to create an email address with a different name and then send you a message so there are some ways to find the owner name and we will see how we can do this right now. The first thing I would like to do is just to copy the email address and put it in have been pwned. And if you don't know what's having been pwned, it will just show you whether this email address has been found in a bridge database. And if it is, then you can see what information that's been found. For example, in this case, we can see that it was not found in any um, email leak or a database leak. I'm gonna say, for example, john at gmail.com just to show you what I mean. Now, when we put this very popular email address, we can see that it's going to be found in many, like 324 data breaches. And you can see in which data breaches the email address has been found. For example, you can also see the compromised data, for example, email addresses, IP addresses, names, passwords. So if you were able to get this database, since it's already leaked online, then you will be able to search for this email address. Plus you will find his IP address, name and password. And you can also look at in other databases. You can see that here we have date of birth and we have usernames, etc. So if you found the email address leaked in here, then you can download the database, which is something that we have did in our awesome masterclass. And then after you download the data leak, then you can search for this email address and get a lot of information. So let's come back. I'm going to copy this email address again and close this website and go to the next website, which is called Epios. And it's a very wonderful website that will show you where this email address is registered on. For example, I can search for an email address if I have one, or I can search for somebody's phone number, which is also awesome. Now, they have free plan and a premium plan. In my case, I have the free one. You have to sign in and put the email address, search, and then solve some captcha. And now it's going to show me whether it's been found somewhere. And you can see that it's been found on chess.com, which means that this person plays chess. And there are a lot of information that we can get, as you can see in here, and we have to subscribe to view all of this information. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that he has a Google account and you can see his ID and we can also see that he has some reviews on Google Maps. You can see that his name is S. Jacob. And if I went to reviews, we can see right here that he have some photos of a B city global. So if I went to this website and did also some awesome search, I might be able to see who is behind this website, etc. But this is all information that you can get and you can see that he's called S Jacob, which is different from the email address that we have here. Here we have Samuel. I can assume that the S is for Samuel, but it's not Jacob. You can see it was Dennis. 
Now let me scroll down again and I can see that this email address is registered on github.com, Spotify and Twitter. Another very similar website is called Castric. So I'm going to put the email address you have to sign in and they also have some free modules and some uh, paid modules. If you have a phone number, username, you can add them as well. And then I'm going to add or yeah, I'm going to solve the captcha. And as you can see, this showed me some different result. And you can see that he has a Pinterest account and this is the person's image. And what I can do right now is reverse image search, which we also did in a previous video. And we can see that we did not get a name or what we got is that he has a Pinterest account and this is the picture that's associated with his account. So now I'm going to another website called Awesome Industries, which is the best out of these two because it allows you to search for phone number and email address and over 200 websites so let me put the email address and see the results i'm gonna solve the captcha and as you can see here are all the information that we found about this person we can see that it's been found on chess.com and here are the information that were hidden from us uh, from epios as you can see here so we know that his name on chess.com is s jacob and the country is turkey and we can also see when was his last login we can see that he has a google.com account which we also found on opios and he has evanto.com account which is a website that people use to upload their designs like website design templates etc and he has a youtube account and i can see that he has a github account spotify eventbrite Quora, twitter.com and github as well and here he is called uh, Jacobs DevOps. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is an email reverse search. And I'm going to be relying on a tool called or an extension called Signal Hire. You just have to install it on your browser and activate it, sign into your account. And they have a very good feature that allows you to see whether an email address is associated with a LinkedIn account. So I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to add somebody's email address and we can see that he has a LinkedIn account. If I clicked on it or I'm just going to click on the LinkedIn icon and now I can see his LinkedIn account. I can see his username. I can do a username enumeration. I can get his picture, do a reverse image search to see where he appears and we can see that he's called or yeah, he's called Samuel Ismail G and he is a developer and we can scroll down and get more information about this person where he works etc now when you have a free signal hire account you can just click on his profile on linkedin and this will redirect you to signal hire and then click on reveal contacts you might get some information from here so i'm going to wait a little bit and we can see that this is his email address and it's also verified now, the last thing that I would like to show you is since we have his LinkedIn account, I'm going to copy the URL and go to a website called Rocket Search. And if I added his account and said search, it's going to find his profile. And sometimes it will also show us the email addresses that's associated with this account. So I'm going to say get contact info. You you have five free credits, I believe. And we can see that he has a professional or work email address, which is called Samuel at neotech.com. So that's it for this video. If you have tried what I have showed you today, please let me know in the comment section and what information you were able to find. Keep in mind, this is only awesome. We're only just looking for open source information and we're not doing or encouraging for any illegal activities. So. If you have learned something new, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media and I'll see you in another video.